I am going to plant some peppers um, that I have collected over the years. Um, these right here I got last year. These are um, ghost peppers that I got from my husband's uncle, Uncle Phil. Shout out to Uncle Phil. Um, he grows a lot of peppers and they're really good. And these are also Scotch bonnet peppers that he gave me last year. And I am going to plant them. And I also have um, some other pepper seeds. I can't remember what kind of seeds they are and where I got them from. So I'm just gonna plant them. And then once they uh, start to grow peppers on them, I'll have a better idea of the type of peppers they are. All right, and so the containers that I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a plastic cup, which I just cut um, some holes at the bottom for drainage. Um, and then I just have like a old nursery pot that I got from, from a store somewhere with some type of plant in it. Okay, for my soil, I'm going to use a combination of miracle Grow. Um, cactus potting mix um, because I do want something that's fast draining and it's not going to keep the seedlings waterlogged and I'm going to use um, some peat moss um, just because it, it helps to actually retain moisture so I'm just trying to get a good soil combination to where It'll keep the seedlings moist, but not um, waterlogged. Um, then there are also other methods um, that you can start your seeds um, called the paper towel method. Um, I've had success with that in the past. Um, like for instance, right here, in here is a lemon seed, a couple lemons and put them in a paper towel and in a plastic bag and just put it in a dark spot, dark warm spot for probably about two weeks. And then um, it started to sprout a root. And then from the root, I put um, just that one seed in the soil and placed it and placed the paper bag over it to help keep it moist and warm. And this has been growing um, in this pot for probably almost two weeks. So it's been about a month since um, since I started growing this and so far so good. And with that as well, I just use whatever soil um, I had and it's, and so, and I just have just like a bigger pile where I just put the soil in and mixed it up just to make things um, easier. You don't have to put rocks or anything in the bottom. As long as you have good drainage holes at the bottom, you should be fine. And you just wanna fill it up to about right there and then we'll put our seeds in and then we'll put some more soil on top. So you just wanna kinda tamp it down a little bit. Take out any big chunks of soil or bark or whatever is in there. Okay, I think that's good there. Okay, so first I'm going to take Uncle Phil's Scotch bonnets. I'm gonna put it in the right cup. I'm only gonna take maybe, um, maybe about four seeds and put in here just so to get a better um a better probability of them growing you know all all four of them may not sprout so you know i'll be lucky to get one or two to actually sprout I'm just gonna spread them out just so when it is time to take them out and transplant them, 
the roots aren't so wound up together that you damage the roots. So just go ahead and do yourself a favor by separating them out. And if you can see where I put them, there's one, two, three, and four. That's right there. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of soil to cover them up. And you don't want to cover them up too deep because then they will risk um, rotting and dying. And we don't want that. And then always uh, mark your containers because you will forget. And I will probably do a video where I do some of these using the paper towel method. Just so in that way I'll have a backup um, in case these zoning directly into soil don't work out. Now we're going to fit our ghost peppers. Alright, and so the ghost peppers, I actually put five of them in here. One, two, three, four, and five. Give us a better probability. And then just sprinkle some soil. Just to cover them up. Now, I'm just gonna water them. And you wanna soak them down pretty good because you wanna get the soil very moist. And then, you know, of course the water will eventually drain out the bottom and you want to water as gently as you can just so you don't disturb the seeds too much and there it is running out the bottom but yeah you want to be just kind of careful watering the top so that the seeds don't become displaced because you did separate them for a reason Um, I probably should have put a little more soil in there. Um, I didn't pack it down enough. So as I watered it, the soil just sort of started to settle down. So the level is a lot lower than what I started out with. But I think, I think it'll be okay. Um, but we'll see. Okay. So now after we've watered them, it's time to put... Uh, plastic bags. I just have like little sandwich plastic bags um, to put over the pots. So then that way um, it helps to, for one, keep the moisture in and also to keep uh, like the humidity up and provide um, warmth for the seedlings as they grow. It, it, it's warm. It's pretty hot outside. I think our our days have been getting up to the 80s and our nights um, probably don't get any lower than uh, than like 65 to 60 degrees so it's pretty safe for them to be outside and honestly they probably could sit out in the sun but I'm not taking any chances usually when I grow these peppers I usually start really early like in January. So usually I'm growing them in in the house until they sprout. And then around this time is when I'm actually transplanting them and then putting them outdoors, transitioning them to outdoors um, in full sun. But I got a late start this year because we just recently moved. And then of course, you know, the 
pandemic hit, so things got a bit crazy. So I'm just now planting my 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 peppers. So I know I'm probably really late in the game, but we'll see how they do. It works so it works so easy with with the cups. So if you want less of a headache, just get you these little red cups. And I don't know what I did with the ones that I had last year. Somehow they got thrown away during the move. So, and I don't feel like going to the store and getting more. But, okay, and that works. And one little helpful tip too, you can just label the top of the bag too. I'm big on labels because I can never remember what's what. And the other peppers that I have that I don't know what they are. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the paper towel method with these, only because the only other pot that I have right now is this really big pot, and I really hate to waste a bunch of soil on some seedlings that may or may not um, sprout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the paper towel method with these. And I'll also do a paper towel method with the other seed, but with the other seeds of these. And let's keep our fingers crossed and see how it goes. And I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I guess I kind of should have showed when I did the lemon seed here, but maybe I'll do some videos to do like an update on on this um, since it has um, its leaves already. Um, it's probably time that I could um, start fertilizing it. Um, so when I do fertilize it, I'll film that for you guys.